Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Automation Test Insider. So today I'm going to show you how we can create different variables using pre-request script. So this is part 12 of API testing series and uh, earlier in part 10 we have already spoken about different variables in Postman and how we can create those variables, how we have created those variables uh, using separate section in Postman like global variable collection variable and environment variable and we have created local variable local variable inside pre-request script and data variable uh, is, a, is a separate topic which we are going to discuss in coming videos now today what we are going to do is how we can create global variable collection variable and environment variable inside pre-request script this is what we are going to discuss today so there are different ways uh, correct so there are two ways like uh, we have separate section uh, using which we can create global collection and environment variable and there is another way we can create those variables using pre-request script section as well so how we are going to do that let's have a look so this is the uh, part 10 uh, video which I have created variables in postman so if you haven't watched this then uh, I would recommend first go through this and uh, watch this video and then come back to this video so I'll provide the link in the description box of this video so let's get started so this is my postman uh, where we have created variable demo earlier in that class part 10 and we have created a request so you can see this is the url we have and uh, here we have created a local variable where underscore local and we are passing this variable uh, value over here correct so and how we have created different variables so if you talk about a global variable so if you click on this icon uh, uh, at right side below uh, this close button we have this environment quick click button quick look button and when you click on this so here we have globals global variable so here we have created where underscore global one variable we have already created and uh, environment also so right right now we have selected QA environment and uh, here also we have a variable in the same uh, section if you go here environment quick look you can see we have one variable where underscore qa and this is the value if you talk about uh, collection level so here we have variable section separately inside that we have created a variable now today we are going to see how we can create different uh, variables using using pre-request script so this is the pre-request script section how we are going to do that okay let's have a look uh, global variable so inside pm object we have globals pm dot globals dot we have set method right inside that so this is a simple uh, statement pm dot globals dot set for global variable so let me give here create global variable and here we have to give the variable name so let me give like where underscore global one because we have already created a variable here inside globals we have where underscore global so here i have given where underscore global one and in the second parenthesis uh, second place we have to give uh, two parameters are there in inside this set method so one is what is the name of the variable and second parameter would be your value like what is the value so what I'll do I'll make changes to this URL uh, I'll put like slash let me do one thing let me just cut this first save it and slash one so this is this part is already uh, we have we are using like local variable right and let me see whether it, this URL is working or not so if we send this request so we are getting the id1 here you can see id1 we are getting the response okay so what we are going to do we are going to make this part as variable we are going to pass this value using variable okay so so let me just paste it over here create global variable so this is what we have created global variable comma we are passing value like 2 let's say we are passing the value to 2 here and 
now we are going to use this right uh, we are going to use this variable here so how we are going to use using double curly braces and inside that we have to provide the value where underscore global one click on save now what we are going to do if you see here inside this environment environment uh, quick loop we have only one variable right now let's see whether it will create a new variable or not new global variable or not okay so let me just click on send now you can see we got the response id is 2 so dynamically it is before sending the request since it is present inside a pre-request script so this will be executed and global variable will be created and it is passing the request like to to this url right and we are getting the response now we'll see in this environment quick look whether uh, the variable has been created or not if you click on that we'll see we can see here the global variable has been created where underscore global one and the value is two so this is how you can create a global variable now if you talk about uh, how we can create environment variable so let's see if you can create environment variable variable so pm dot environment dot set this is a simple uh, statement we have to uh, javascript we have to write pm dot environment dot set and inside that same thing uh, like what we have given for global so here we'll give give environment env1 and here i'll pass the value let's say 3 id 3 we are passing so we have to change the variable name over here right so this time i'll pass environment variable here hope it is clear so here we are passing environment variable where underscore env1 now let's see whether we have what what is the environment variable we have so environment quick look we have where underscore qa right so this time we have created we are going to create where underscore env1 so let's see whether it is working or not so simply click on send you can see we are getting the id 3 we are uh, we got the response and id as 3 now let's have a look whether uh, environment variable has been created or not so you can see it has been created over here where underscore env1 and the value is 3 so this is how you can create the environment variable and if you talk about collection variable so how we can create create collection variable so simple statement for collection variable as well collection variables pm dot collection variables dot set now let's have a look uh, what is the collection variable we have so just select the collection and variables section we have var underscore collection this is the variable we have now what i'll do i'll create uh, one more variable right so i'll give this name uh, this time name is where underscore collection one and i'm going to use inside this url as well comma let's say this time id4 we are passing id4 now let's see whether it is working or not so simply click on send you can see we got the id4 and we got the response id as 4 right now we'll see at collection level so you can see here where underscore collection 1 has been created and value is 4 so this is how you can create different variables using pre-request script as well using pre-request script so i'll put this code uh, in the comment uh, in the description box uh, description box of this video as well so this is all for today guys uh, let me know if you uh, if you have any doubts uh, please write your question in the comment box of this video please like and share this video and if you are new to this channel then subscribe this channel thank you so much have a nice day bye bye